Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And today in English Digest, we're going to travel to Hokkaido, which, of course, as you know, is Beihaidao in Chinese, and it's in Japan. It's the northernmost island of Japan. It's a big island, and lots of people go there. What、uh, to go skiing, to look at flowers, yeah, to drink their wonderful milk and、uh, eat their cheese and stuff like that. It's a great place to go and get away from it all. Yeah, we're calling Hokkaido Japan's natural getaway. A getaway is just a quick vacation someone might take, maybe on the weekend, a long weekend holiday, perhaps. But、uh, I know most of my friends here in Taiwan love Japan. I haven't been to Hokkaido yet myself, but I'd sure like to go. Have you been? No, I've only switched planes in、uh, what is it, Haneda or Narita, Narita, and I've never actually,、uh, you know, entered、oh, Japan、yeah. itself. I feel like、oh, I need to. Oh, you gotta go. It's pretty there. Well, I gotta learn some Japanese first because I understand that English isn't that great there. Yeah, but I don't know Japanese, and I had a great time. Okay, well, yeah, they of course they need to support tourism there, and、yeah. in Hokkaido, I'm sure they speak well Japanese, of course, and、uh, probably. <laughs> With a large number of Chinese tourists these days, they probably speak a lot of Mandarin and English. So yeah, they're probably all set for you. And so let's talk about some of the natural wonders in Hokkaido, Japan's natural getaway. Here we go. Let's listen to the article now in its entirety. Hokkaido is a land of snow, blooming flowers, and dairy products. The island. Which is in the north of Japan accounts for about 22 percent of the country's entire land area. It was also traditionally the home of the Izo people, who first made their homes there about 20,000 years ago. Therefore, Japanese people used to call the island Izochi. However, the Meiji government eventually changed the island's name to Hokkaido. Hokkaido's economy largely relies on agriculture. Such as the aforementioned dairy products. In fact, it is Japan's leading producer of milk and beef, especially eastern and northern Hokkaido. Hokkaido also boasts nearly a quarter of the country's arable land and produces wheat, potatoes, and corn, among others. In addition, rice is grown in huge quantities in Hokkaido, more so than in any other prefecture in Japan. Aside from crops. Hokkaido's other famous plant is lavender. Unlike the country's short-lived cherry blossom season, lavender season lasts more than a month, from early July to late August. The town Furano in central Hokkaido is the island's most popular flower viewing spot, and has lavender, poppies, French marigolds, and more. Visitors to Furano usually go to Farm Tomita to view its field full of flowers. Not far from there, visitors can easily spot a huge green balloon in the shape of a melon floating above Tomita Melon House, signaling just what the area is known for. For those who love melons, this place is definitely an appealing attraction not to be missed. It serves up whole melons, melon slices with soft serve ice cream and melon smoothies. It is said that tourists who visit there never want to stop snacking. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about the beautiful Hokkaido. Personally, I want to go there when、uh, the blossoms are coming out. The cherry blossoms、it、looks really, really pretty. Hokkaido, we're going to describe it as a land of snow, blooming flowers, and dairy products. I never would have thought of the dairy products. That's kind of shocking. And when you mentioned cheese before we began, Tom, I thought that was really strange, because generally speaking, at least until the last, I would say. Ten, fifteen years. Asian folks didn't like cheese.、Mm. That wasn't their thing, but it's becoming more popular. When you talk about blooming flowers, guys, if a flower blooms, that's a verb. It means the petals start opening up. So we've got these blooming flowers and dairy products. The island is 
in the north part of Japan or northern Japan, you could say, and it accounts for about twenty-two percent of the country's entire land area. When you account for something, it means that's、uh, what it supplies or makes up. So it makes up about twenty-two percent of the whole land there in Japan. Twenty-two percent—that's a lot. So that's、yeah. one of the four main islands of Japan, along with Honshu, Shikoku. And Kyushu, and some other smaller ones, of course.、Mm. But Hokkaido is way up in the north, and it's really big. It was also traditionally the home of the Izo people. I hope I said that right. Who first made their homes there about twenty thousand years ago? So that's a race of people or a culture that lived on Hokkaido about twenty thousand years ago. So that was the original name of Hokkaido to Izo or something like that. And therefore, as a result of that, Japanese people used to call the island Ezochi. Okay, I'm not sure what the chi stands for there in Japanese, but however, the Meiji government eventually changed the island's name to Hokkaido. And Meiji, what that's a period of history in Japan after the Meiji Restoration, Mingzhi Shidai, as you say in、uh, Chinese. We're not、uh, history teachers here, so I don't know exactly when that was. But in any case, when the Meiji government took power, they changed the name of the island to Hokkaido. Yeah. So we are continuing on into the next period. Paragraph. It starts with Hokkaido's economy largely relies on agriculture, such as the aforementioned dairy products. Let's take a look at this word economy. Economy is how a nation or a state. Actually, makes money. So, in terms of what they produce and sell, and what they consume, that's your economy. Different places have different types of economies. Maybe you are in a place where you rely on a lot of finance. You know, for example, London is a financial district, and so is New York City. It's also known for Wall Street, where you talk about stocks and bonds and. Borrowing money and trading. Here we're saying their economy is really based on, largely based on, or largely relies on agriculture. Agriculture is composed of two parts. First of all, it's the development of crops. You've got to plant things and harvest things. That's part of agriculture. And also, what you can get from animals through raising animals, like wool from sheep or milk from cows, that's also part of agriculture. If you study that in school, you're going to be studying both、uh, growing crops and taking care of livestock and animals. Indeed. So, in my home state, of course,、uh, it、uh, relies on. Agriculture as well, growing corn and soybeans, and raising pigs and、oh, cattle、yeah. for consumption. So, of course, that state there relies on agriculture, as does the prefecture of Hokkaido here. And such as, for example, the aforementioned dairy products. Aforementioned means that the, the things that we were talking about just a few moments ago. The aforementioned.、Mm. Now, in fact, it is Japan's leading producer of milk and beef, especially eastern and northern Hokkaido. So. Uh, in the northern area of Hokkaido and the eastern area of Hokkaido, you'll probably see lots of farms there,、uh, lots of dairy farms specifically because they produce a lot of milk and also beef, which is meat which comes from cows. Yeah, it sure does. Japan's pretty famous for their、uh, wagyu wagyu beef, which is loaded with lots of fat. So if you like meat, beef especially, that's the kind you want to go for. Now it says, in fact, Japan is a leading producer of milk and beef, especially in the eastern and northern Hokkaido. Hokkaido also boasts nearly a quarter of the country's arable land and produces wheat, potatoes, and corn, among others. So they're pretty busy up in that area of the country. When a place boasts of something,、uh, we're using this verb to talk about、um, actually possessing something you're proud of.、Let's、say that Taiwan boasts the world's best tasting beef noodle soup. I knew I you were going to say that. Love it. Mm, yeah, that's right. So it's、uh, something that a, a, a place is proud of. Yeah, I could say that、uh, Dan Shui boasts the most tasty age in all of Taiwan, or I, sh I should say, tastiest. Actually, that's the superlative of tasty there. But in any case, here, yes, Hokkaido boasts nearly a quarter of the land that they can grow cro 
mopsan. That's what arable means here. You can grow food、mm. on it, and they produce wheat, potatoes, and corn, among other things. Now, in addition, rice is grown in huge quantities in Hokkaido, more so than in any other prefecture、mm. in Japan. So, if you buy a rice imported from Japan, there's a very good chance that it has it has come from Hokkaido or was grown there because they grow rice in huge. Quantities. A quantity is an amount of something, an, an amount or a number of something. I guess it could be both something that is countable or non-countable. A large quantity of something. So, of course, here Taiwan produces a large quantity of computer products. Yeah, we're talking about areas of that part of Japan、uh, that are in things called prefectures. A prefecture is a way to divide up a nation. We don't use this word in America. I don't think they do in Great Britain either, but they do in Japan. It's a prefecture, which means it's a district that's under the authority of some sort of governor or a prefect. So it's a way to. Um, manage or govern a particular district of Japan. Aside from crops, which we've talked about, wheat, potatoes, corn, rice, Hokkaido's other famous plant, oh, is lavender. Lavender is a type of flower. We're using it in the non-count form here. Lavender is a wonderful smelling type of flower too. It's purple, light kind of purple, if I'm not mistaken. And of course,、uh, we've seen pictures of the big lavender fields.、Yeah. In Hokkaido, and unlike the country's short-lived cherry blossom season, lavender season lasts more than a month, from early July to late August. So it's different from the cherry blossom season, which is short-lived, which means it doesn't last very long. It doesn't live very long. And in this particular case, the lavender season is much longer than the cherry blossom season. It lasts more than a month, from early July to late August. So you've got a good chance to see lavender flowers in、mm. bloom. But、uh, well, you got to go to Japan at exactly the right time to see the cherry blossoms. But I guess it's more flexible if you go to Hokkaido to see the lavenders. I didn't know there was a lavender season at all. That's interesting. So they've got not only the beautiful, lovely, I would say, cherry blossoms earlier in the year, but they've got these great smelling lavender flowers that you can see if you go there in early July to late August.、Uh, we're going to take a quick break here. Guys, and then we'll be back to continue talking about Hokkaido. Hi, everyone. My name is Jenny. 今天我们看的是第一单元。好，我们要带大家来认识一个地方——日本的。北海道，很多人都知道这个地方呢。其实它是一个观光胜地，所以它提到一个 get away， 这是一个大家去那边，然后呢可以远离尘嚣的度假之地。那我们就来看看，一开始就告诉大家有一个简单的介绍，提到北海道会说它是。A land of snow is 雪乡，它有花卉，它有 dairy products， 它有乳制品。这边这一段就告诉大家它的历史，它简单的地理位置，它的总面积占了日本的百分之二十二。而又说到了这边最开始呢，其实是有一群叫虾夷人，这些人呢，在两万年前就在这里定居了。那不过，这个地方后来呢，被日本政府改名为北海道。不过，这个介绍虽然简单，这里面的句构要注意一下。比如说，提到这个虾夷人呐、啊，他后面逗点 ，who first made their homes there about twenty thousand years ago。我们知道，当你在提一个专有名词的时候，其实你要附带说明。那他的情况，或是介绍这个，像这边介绍这一批这。这一群人他们如何的时候，你用的是一个非限定用法，所以这个逗点是必要的。OK， 还有呢，另外一个重点就是这些人，因为这是 e a s l people， 所以他们以前呢，日本人叫这个地方说它是虾夷地。好，那这里有一个。Used to， 我们顺便说一下，因为在英文里面呢，这这个片语跟另外一个 be used to 很像，差了一个 be 动词，可是两个用法差很多。那要注意的是，当你用 used to 这样子的话，它整个是一个过去式的。
动词片语，后面呢一定是接原形动词。那解释上就表示说，哎，以前呢，他们都说他是什么？以前是一贯是如此。好，以前称他为下一地。再来下一段呢，就提到了。那提到北海道，在经济上呢，我们知道它是以农业著称的。前面就说过了乳制品。那提到农业呢，以下就要分别介绍它在农业方面有哪些让它自豪之地。那以下就要注意。到他在这个转折词的使用上啊，他要一样一样介绍。那这当中的转折呢？比如说他写到了说，哦、啊，他有乳制品。那他进一步说明，所以他用 in fact 进一步说明说，他其实哎啊，你要想到这个乳制品哦，在北海道这里，他有牛奶，他有牛肉啊，那还有说什么别的东西呢？所以他又用了一个 also， 哎，其实啊。说起来，这个北海道哦，它很自豪的，就是它有全国将近四分之一的可耕地，然后它生产的农作物，像小麦、马铃薯、玉米，哦，等等等。好，所以这个地方 also 之后，接下来又要再说农作物哦，不是只有这些哦，它加 in addition 就是此外还有什么？他说到啊，他、呃、这米来说呢，他。在所有日本的各县市里面，可以讲是比其他任何一个县都生产的还要多。好，这里 more so than in any other prefecture。好，注意到了，我们在比较级里面，当你说要讲两个之间做比较，当然是会 more than 这个片语。不过有一点是。你要讲它是最多的，那是比其他任何一个县还要多的话，你要记得要强调它是最多的话，用比较级来写，你要用 than in any other。这个 any other 更强调比任何其他一个都要多。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
And of course, they've got a very long season there to check out lavender flowers. It's longer than the cherry blossom season, so if you missed out on the cherry blossoms, you've still got a good chance to see the lavender flowers in Hokkaido. And let's talk about the town of Furano. The town of Furano in central Hokkaido is the island's most popular flower viewing spot. And has lavender, poppies, French marigolds, and more.、Mm. So here we've got the word "spot." It's a noun. It's just it just、uh, refers to a location, a tourist spot, for example, a tourist location, a place where something happens. And I guess lots of、uh, tourists head to this town of Ferrano to check out all the flowers there. And yes, they don't just have lavender, but、mm. they also have poppies, yeah, which are like little red flowers, kinda. And French marigolds is a marigold kind of. Yellow or something. Like Marigolds、that? also have different colors. We have a lot of them in my backyard where I grew up in Arizona because they can take that heat, the strong sun. They come in different colors. They've got very. Delicate flowers. They're、uh, they're a pretty good flower to raise if you're not good, or if you don't have a green thumb, which means you're really good at raising plants. You don't kill them when you get them. Yeah, they're a pretty flower. Okay, and of course, there's going to be more flowers there as well. I wonder、mm. if they have chrysanthemums or tulips or something like that. I'm not really into flowers so I much, but I guess、uh, if you like colors and like watching bees pollinate the flowers and stuff like. Like that, then Hokkaido、mm. is the place for you. Specifically, the town of Furano. Sorry, I don't know the kanji for that right offhand, but visitors to Furano usually go to Farm Tomita、huh. to view its field full of flowers. So、nice. that's a popular tourist spot, a tourist location. They go to this field there at Farm Tomita. There is a big field there full of flowers. Lots of different kinds of flowers there that you can check out. Probably has the Lavenders and the marigolds and things we mentioned,、uh, the aforementioned flowers. Yeah, and not far from there, visitors can easily spot. A huge green balloon in the shape of a melon、hmm. floating above Tomita Melon House, signaling just what the area is known for.、Cool. This is a long sentence here, but in any case, not far from there, not far from Farm Tomita, is a spot where you can see these huge balloons. At least a huge green balloon, one of them. You can spot it there. Here, spot is being used as a verb. It just means you see it. Usually, especially if it's something that's kind of hard. To see, oh, I spotted it. It's over there. And this particular balloon is in the shape of a melon floating above Tomita Melon House.、Uh, a melon, of course, is a kind of vegetable that's round, like hami gua. Gua is the word in Chinese for melon, watermelon, etc. And it's floating above. To meet a melon house, I guess that's the、uh, the house there or some kind of farm that sells melons. And signaling here means it indicates just what this place is for. What here refers to what we're talking about. It tells us what the place is for. It tells us that this place is all about melons. Yeah, we're using this verb to signal that something is the case. It just means you're communicating that. So it's telling you what the area is known for. We have green melons in Taiwan. We have watermelons. We have another melon called cantaloupe, which is orange inside. That's my favorite, frankly.、Mm-hmm. It's、uh, harder to find here, and they're pretty small. But where I grew up, they're big. So it's a great place to go if that's what you're into. For those who love melons. That's most people. I think most people like melons. This place is definitely an appealing attraction not to be missed. Definitely is a word we use when there's no doubt about something. You're pretty darn sure, or you're certain that something is the case. Now, if it's appealing. It's attractive to you. You really like it. There are lots of things that people find appealing. Not everybody has things that appeal to them that other people like, though. We're all different, so it's attractive. It's interesting to you, and of course, an attraction is what draws people to a certain place to check out. Usually, we say, "Oh, that's a great tourist attraction." Yeah, I wonder if that's the place where they grow the square watermelons. Ooh, cool! Have you seen pictures of those、yeah. where they grow them in a special mold or something、yeah. like that, <laughs> and they come up with these square melons? So maybe they produce them there. I'm not quite sure. I've never been there before. But in any case, if you like melons, this is definitely an appealing attraction, not to be missed. You can't miss it. You got to go there. You're really going to regret it if you go back home and tell your grandkids, "Oh, I had the chance to check out those melons." 
melons and I blew it. Oh darn! I went to a sushi bar instead, or I <laughs> wasted time at the beach looking for shells when I should have been going to check out those melons because we all love melons, don't we? I think most people do. I guess not everybody does, but I've never seen like a kid not enjoy watermelon, which is really sweet. In the next sentence, it starts out by saying it serves up whole melons, melon slices with soft serve ice cream, yum, and melon smoothies. To serve something up, guys, you offer it、uh, some sort of food. Here we've got whole melons that haven't been cut into slices and pieces. We've got melon slices, which is a piece that's been cut from the melon, and soft serve ice cream is the kind you can get at convenience stores, where you take that cone or cup. And you push a button, and ice cream comes out. That's pretty soft. It moves. It's not hard like the kind that's in a freezer. And melon smoothies. Smoothies are anything where you take either fruit or vegetables. You put them in a blender, and you can add ice, water. Sometimes people add juice or a little bit of milk or yogurt,、mm. the kind of liquid yogurt. People like that. Those are smoothies, and they're good. They do sound good, but I just hate smoothies. Not because I、really? hate the taste. But because every time I have a smoothie, I just drink them too fast, and I always get a brain freeze. Brain freeze, yeah. yeah if you, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's a big headache you get if you eat something cold too fast. <laughs> so just the thought, yeah, just the thought、yeah. of a melon smoothie gives me a big headache. So <laughs> no smoothies for me.、Mm. And it is said that tourists who visit there never want to stop snacking. So yes, bring your appetite. If you go to this place, you're going to be eating melon. For a long time to come, it sounds pretty tasty here. If I can avoid the smoothies, that's fine. But the melon slices and the whole melons and the soft serve ice cream—hey, I can dig on that. Cool. Yeah, it sounds like a great place to check out. We're not done talking about Hokkaido, though, guys. We're gonna. Be talking about it in our next program. We hope you'll join us then. But right now, we're going to take a quick break and listen once again to our Chinese teacher. 好，那我们谈到了北海道，它在农业方面有哪些啊令它自豪的啊米啦，或者是乳制品之类。但是还有一点就是花，尤其是在富良野这个地方所盛产的花卉。好，我们来看，在富良野。很多人可能也都去过，知道呢，在这里呢，很多种花卉，然后呢，整片的看起来非常的壮观跟美丽。不过他提到了富良野，他就说，在这里其实除了花卉之外，你大概很快就会发现。它这里有哈密瓜，因为远远就可以看到那个哈密瓜的造型气球。好，这个提到它这个造型气球啊，他说这呢，哎，让你很快就看得出来，它这里的盛产农作物就是哈密瓜。他用到了 signaling just what the area is known for。What the area is known for? 当我们知道一个地方以什么闻名是 be known for， 那以什么闻名，当然用到的这个词汇是 what。最后，我们再来看一下，提到了哈密瓜，当然到这边来，你可以吃到它各种哈密瓜的产品，像哈密瓜的冰沙，哎，还有呢，哎，搭配双麒麟的哈密瓜切片。那最后就告诉你。据说，哎，来这里的游客根本就停不下来，一直想吃零食。好，这个 it is said that 这个句构上就表示据说。OK， 我们今天的说明解释就到这里为止，下次见。That's all the time we have for today, everybody. Thank you for joining us, but please join us again next time when we continue to talk about the sights and sounds of Hokkaido. Until then, from all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. See ya.